I'm back with another press on video and today we're gonna to be trying out press ons from Good Girls Press. This is a small business press on company. I know y'all been dying for me to try one of the small business press on girls out. So she sent over some press ons over to my PR mailbox. So we're gonna check them out and see what's up. I'm excited. Just to clear the air, this is not one of the companies that I was talking about in my last press on video where I said I was still waiting because I am still waiting on those. But I didn't custom order these. She just sent these over. She also sent this little note as well. So the first thing we have is cuticle oil. Let's open this up. Where's my scissors? Never know where my scissors are. <laughs> All right, I got them. Let's go ahead and cut this open. As y'all can see, this was packed very, very well. Ooh, let me zoom in so y'all can see. This is cute. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. Okay, she did say that it was gonna have a mild scent because she didn't want it to be too overpowering and I totally get it, but it still smells good. All right, so these are the press-ons. So these are just different, you know, designs and lengths. Ooh, these are cute. Okay, these look like extras. That all of her sets come with 20 nails, so you can pick your sizes and all of that. But let me just pull all of these out and see. Ooh, I like that. That is really cute for fall. Oh, whoa, okay. <laughs> I don't know which ones I wanna pick. These are all really cute. And they're well done as well because, you know, not to throw shade on anybody, but it be some press ons and I be like, mm, I don't know if you should be charging it. <laughs> but these are nice. Oh, okay. I don't know which ones I want to choose for this. All right. And then I got this as well. I'm guessing this comes along with when you order. Oh, I need one of these, y'all. <laughs> this little silicone tip thing. So you get a nail file, an alcohol wipe. Oh, this little buffing block, okay. And this little, you know, silicone press down smoother thing. This looks like this could be a cuticle pusher as well. And some nail glue. Oh, and instructions. Okay, like this is serious. <laughs> My challenge is deciding which one of these nail designs I wanna try. I really don't know. Oh my God, they're all so cute. I'm actually kind of leaning towards these. But let me just see some right quick. Let me see if I can I can go this long or not. <laughs> oh, these are really long, but they cute. These might be it, I don't know yet. I don't know, it kind of depends on how I'm feeling, how long I want to go today. Which ones y'all think I should pick? Oh, that green is pretty. And these actually fit. How'd she do that? <laughs> she didn't ask me for my sizes. Um, okay. I can't decide. Let me see if I like these. Oh, that is cute as well. I really don't know, y'all. I'm gonna have to take some time and decide. I'll be back. All right, so this decision was hard, but I decided to go with these because I want a more manageable length. But let me show y'all what was a close second. I'm gonna be wearing these sometime for something. But these are like color changing. So yeah, it's pink. And then when it gets warm, it's like this, I don't know, kind of iridescent opal <laughs> white color. So yeah, these were like, oh, they were so cute. And you see every time I press down on them, <laughs> they change color, but they're a little bit too long for what I wanna deal with right now. So we'll come back to these. But for now, I am going to try these little flower square ones. So cute and I think it's right on point for the season. Summer's coming to an end, but you know, you can wear flowers and stuff like anytime. Like I wear what I want when I want, so. <laughs> but anyway. These are the press-ons. They are so cute, y'all. The attention to detail is definitely there. We got the main little pretty display and then, you know, your extras. As I was playing around, it looks like this pinky does fit me. Let's see, like that fits really good. All right, so we got one down. That's kind of eerie, this, this fits as well. Ooh, okay, yeah. 
I like these. <laughs> so you definitely wanna make sure the nails fit from sidewall to sidewall and you don't wanna have to like push them down for them to fit. They should just kinda just sit there and be nice. This is easy work. She kind of like guessed all of my sizes <laughs> perfectly because these fit so well. All right, well that was that. Let me go ahead and get these nails together. Well, Y'all know I do not like having my natural nails showing underneath. So we're gonna go ahead and trim them as soon as I find my nail clipper. Not my favorite one, but it will do. Trim these down. So now we're gonna take this cute little file and I'm gonna use the less grittier side. And we're just gonna clean up the shape a little bit, round everything off. And I read the instructions. This one is a cuticle pusher. I guess it could be used to like, you know, for nail foils and stuff, like I was thinking. <laughs> but this is a gentle cuticle pusher. Now we're gonna take this really cute buffing block. This is so cute, y'all, look at this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this and we're gonna slightly buff the surface. Don't have to go too rough, y'all, just taking the shine away. All right, so instructions say that, you know, they provided glue and you can use that glue or they recommend a strong adhesive with brush on. So I'm guessing like brush on nail glue. I got some of that. <laughs> So that is what I'm going to use. It comes with alcohol pads. So I'm just gonna use one of these to do a final wipe down before I glue these on. Just making sure we get all of the oils and stuff off. She also recommends to wipe the inside, especially if you've been touching them a lot like I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well. I don't know why that all bling nail gets me so excited. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in. I want these to last a week or two, depending on when I come back and update y'all. <laughs> y'all know how I be doing. They be staying on way longer than a week. I'm just going to apply some to my natural nail and also to the press on, so. But these seem to fit really, really well. So hopefully I can get a good seal on them or whatever you call it. <laughs> Yeah, like they pretty much just sit really comfortably on the nail. And one thing that I was fearing is that these would be like thin and just, you know, nail polish on them, but they actually, they're like pretty thick. Like you, you can't really bend them. I shouldn't be doing that while I'm gluing it on, but, but yeah, these are pretty, they are pretty nice thickness. So I'm happy about that. They feel like they will last. All right, so I'm gonna repeat that for all of the nails. I wanna thank Good Girls Press for sending these. This was so nice of you. I'm always like, I love trying out small businesses because you know, you don't really get to know about them, obviously because they're small businesses and you know, the word hasn't gotten out yet. So I feel like this company here is a gem because this is some nice, quality work. I don't know why y'all, but I have a very unhealthy obsession with all things that glitter and bling. Just put a little glitter on this. I mean, glue, see? <laughs> I got glitter on the brain now. As y'all can see, these fit really well. They even have that little cuticle kind of slope to them. Ooh, I hope I'm able to soak these off with warm soapy water because I would love to keep these. I never have any luck though with this glue. <laughs> Popping off, it's okay. I'd rather wear them and they last the whole time that I'm wearing them versus just putting a dot of glue and they're popping off just so I can keep them. You get what I'm saying? Okay, I don't even have to do any filing. Like these are really, really pretty. I don't wanna put cuticle oil like right on the nails because oil and glue, it ain't really been that much time. So we just gonna not touch the nails. <laughs> mm. It is a light scent, but it smells so good. I love cuticle oil. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna put it around the skin. I mean, yeah, some is getting on the nail, but I'm ashy y'all, I gotta, Gotta put this cuticle oil on. All right, so this is the finished look. These are really cute and they fit and they're like quality press-ons. 
from a small business. So once again, these press ones are from Good Girls Press. Let's check out the Instagram and see. And yes, y'all, I upgraded my flip phone. A lot of y'all always ask me, how do I like the flip phone? I love it. I love it so much that I upgraded to the flip four. I know I'm kind of just all over the place, but it's so cute. This is supposed to be pink, but it's like a beige color. Oh, it can't even focus. I'm sorry, y'all. And then the sides are like rose gold. Oh, so cute. Good Girls Press. So this is the website, Good Girls Press. And I also wanted to check out like pricing wise. Oh, wow. These are really affordable, y'all. Awesome. So yeah, the prices are really affordable as well. Bye. Bye. There you go. <laughs> You're doing such a good job. Well, I thank love you. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> oh, someone's getting impatient. Mm -hmm. All the kids are. NJ standing around waiting on bacon. All right, so just a quick update on the nails. I just got finished. Let me turn this way. Some more light. Okay. So I just finished washing dishes. I was kind of slipping, so I had to hand wash some dishes. I get it up close. Ooh, that's a good one. But um, this is day three and nothing has, not even the crystals have came off. So they are put on very well, I must say. All right, so um, I'm just gonna wait for my breakfast to get done because I'm hungry. So this is breakfast. That's what yeah. hubby whipped up for us. We about to eat, girl, we about to eat. Yeah. We about to eat. <laughs> <sighs> I've been slacking on my workout, so I'm a little out of shape. <laughs> Let me catch my breath, then I do an update. <laughs> so I caught my breath barely. <laughs> Let me take my waistband off. Her. I am really trying to get my body ready, <laughs> ready for something. Just trying to, you know my little pooch from all my life. I can't even say it's baby weight because I've always had a belly. <laughs> I believe we are on day five of these and they are really lasting and they're holding up so well. Like I look at these and I'll be like, I don't even think about them being pressed on us. Like they are really, really good. So girl, good girl press. <laughs> you are doing the thing with these pressed ones. Oh wait. Trying to catch the cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't remember where I put my camera. <laughs> cooking done. Oh! What you got there? You got some butter. Nah, I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> rice, broccoli, and some rice. Ooh. Steamy. I'm about to eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, it's dinner time. I wanna do a quick update on these nails before Maya gets upset. Let me go ahead and give her some rice so she can be quiet. It's probably hot. Nails still doing good. They're still on here and they're still cute. Ooh, flashing in the light. Nothing has lifted or popped off or anything and we are on day six, so yay. So I just got finished filming these crazy nails. Y'all gonna see this before anyway, so. But yeah, <laughs> these were so hard. But anyway, I wanted to do an update on the press-ons. I believe I am on day nine, eight or nine, I don't know. I lost count. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't even lost a stone yet. Everything is everything. So yes, they are actually still on. Especially after doing these crazy nails, like, it, it took a lot, <laughs> it took a lot, okay. If y'all haven't seen this video, please go and watch, okay? Just just give me your support. <laughs> and just another close-up shot. I'm not sure if y'all can hear all that sizzling, but hubby's in there cooking dinner. Hubby hooking it up. What they be doing first? They be cooking the egg first or the rice? They be cooking the rice first. Yeah, that's what I thought. Right. So <laughs> I ain't got no walk, so ooh shit. That's what I was about to say. My wife clean it. <laughs> How dare you? Bon appetit. 
So I am outside taking pictures of my nails of the week and I wanted to do an update on the press ons. But yeah, this is how I take my pictures outside in my backyard on my stairs. And I love these y'all. I can't wait for y'all to see these. But these are the press ons that are still on. I lost count y'all. I don't even know what day this is. I done done my other hand twice. So I'm guessing this is probably about... <laughs> It's pushing two weeks or it might be over, but I need to take these off. I actually ordered some Kiss glue remover or something, and I'm gonna try to see if I can take these off with that without having to like destroy the tips because I really like these press-ons. But the only issue, I mean, it's not a big issue, but I lost one crystal on the corner here. But y'all, I had these on for two weeks, so you really can't be mad at that. Oh, it's getting windy out here. So I ordered the Kiss glue off from Amazon a week ago and I am still waiting on my order and apparently they lost my package. So yeah, I'm gonna have to request a refund for this. So I went over to my DoorDash app and was like, hmm, let me see if CVS got it. So I went ahead and typed it in, ordered two, and yes, I overpaid, but we're here now. And I waited for my Dasher to pull up. It took about like 20 minutes or so. And you know, they just put the bag on the porch and then dip. Gotta love DoorDash. All right, so we are back and I really don't know how long it's been. Let me check my calendar. Ooh, so it's been about three weeks. So as y'all can see, these nails have really held on. They are on there, okay? Yes, this is three weeks worth of growth. My nails grow slow, okay? We're gonna see if we can get these off with this Kiss product. Yes, I DoorDash this because I didn't feel like going to the store. So I just bought two just in case. If I like it, then I have another one. This is supposed to be some glue off instant false nail remover. Hmm, let's see. Why do they do this? <laughs> Why do they make this packaging so hard to open? Let me see if I can read the instructions first before I cut. All right, remove cap, wait one minute. All right, they claim it's just that easy. So let's see, go ahead and cut that off all right oh okay so in this nail kit <laughs> you get the nail file and the kiss glue off okay it comes with instructions as well man this talking about trim off as much artificial tip as possible <laughs> i bought this to try to save the nails okay Go ahead and twist this off. Okay, so as y'all can see, it's like this little chisel that they call it. And then you, I guess you, ooh, oh, it's coming out. Okay, wait a minute. All right, so let's try on this one here. Oh, it just oozes out. Okay, try this one. I'm just gonna put them on all of them and we gonna wait the minute and see if these come off. If this work, this is like a game changer. Wait in a minute, wait in a minute. But it has a pleasant smell. What's the ingredients? Oh, it's lavender oil that's in here. But the first ingredient is acetone. So acetone, alcohol, castor oil, and then a bunch of other oils. Hmm, I never thought about mixing acetone and alcohol together. I don't know. It says repeat, but... I don't know if this gonna work. Try, try again. It's saying to shove the chisel under the nail and it's like, well, I don't really have much lifting. So, I don't know. Oh, okay, this side is starting to work a little bit. Okay, see, look y'all, it is starting to lift a little bit. Hmm, how much of this stuff are you supposed to use? Cause it's like, every time you tilt it, it just like, just starts pouring out. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna put some on the underside as well. Help it along here. It is a waiting game, but at least it smells good. This one haven't even budged yet. This is starting to kind of separate a little bit. I think it's gonna take a while though, so I'm gonna be back. All right, so I've been at this for about 10 minutes now and I've just been reapplying as I see fit. You gonna end up using this whole tube of glue off to get these nails off. And the only one that's kind of really budging is my thumbnail. This one is, is coming up. 
the rest of them are kind of on there really good. Now it says to not be forceful, so I'm not. But yeah, as you can see, this one, oh, okay. This one is starting to like really lift up a little bit. So we're going to put some more down in there. Let that absorb. I was also reading the instructions to see if I missed anything. Glue off works best once false nails start to lift from the cuticle area after a few days of wear. So they're banking on the nails lifting up anyway and then you're like stuffing this under it. But for the nails that don't have any lifting, it doesn't work. <laughs> and the chisel kind of didn't, ain't really working. Oh, okay. Shut me all the way up. <laughs> the thumbnail came off. Let's see, this one looked like it was wanting to come off next. See if I can pry at this one. Once again, you don't want to be forceful. But, and we're just going to work some more down in there. All right, I think that one might be next. You have to kind of find an opening for this to work. I think it'll come off easier if you have like the, just the little glue tabs, but these nails been on three weeks. So you would think that <laughs> these will like dissolve quickly and pop off. Okay, we're going back to the index finger. That glue is starting to soften up. Gently see if we can get our cuticle pusher under here. Oh, look at that. All right, so two down, three to go. And it looks like it's not destroying the nails, so I should be able to reuse these. Yeah, I feel like you're gonna use this whole thing though to try to get your nails off, so. I don't know if it's worth it because, uh, how much did I pay for these? I paid $5.99 for this bottle. Not like, super expensive, but if you're only gonna use it one time, that's a little pricey. But it does work though. It's softening up the glue. It's just not, you know, it's not popping off in the flash like the instructions say. I'm using a lot of product. All right, so I got the pinky nail off and I'm working on my ring finger. And uh, this one, it's like you really gotta find an opening and then just kind of keep squirting the product inside under the nail. And that's pretty much how you get it off. But I don't know, depending on some of the nails, it's it's a little hard. You just gotta keep on squirting. <laughs> okay, but as y'all can see, it eventually, oh, it pops off. See, this one didn't lift really, so I've just been working at this one. I don't know, I mean, I guess if you're in a pinch and you wanna get these nails off, it ain't gonna be quick though. Like, I've been at this for about 20 or 30 minutes now. It is seeming to work if you wanna save the nails, but I don't know if I'ma do this again. <laughs> but you know what? I'm not gonna be too hard on this product because up until now, I haven't been able to save any of the press ones that I tried out because I had to soak them off. So at least with this, I'm able to save them. But you know, if that comes with a premium of $5.99. All right, so this one was way difficult to get off. Like I was almost about to give up, but it's finally, it finally worked its way off. But as y'all can see, I lost a lot of crystals in the process. So I can't really reuse that one. Okay, it's still some left, uh, but I used a lot. I, I can't even, I wish you could see like what's inside, but I feel like I used a lot of product. But we got the nails off, so I guess that's all that matters, right? But as y'all can see, the good girls press ons last a really long time. I probably could have kept them on even longer, but I gotta make this content, so. <laughs> but if you guys enjoy press ons as much as I do, check out another video right here. And I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.